Next question is from Taylor Louise. If you're in a calorie deficit, would you expect to experience more muscle soreness and a longer recovery time? If so, should you reduce intensity or volume or increase calories for a couple of weeks? Good yeah. question. Yeah. yeah. So, cool question. So let's talk about soreness for a second because this is something that's uh, uh, interesting. I will get more sore when I bump my calories versus when I cut them. Now, it's not because of the calories, but rather- training harder. I'm stronger. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm lifting more weight. You press it more, harder. Yeah. yeah, and I notice this. If I cut my calories, I don't get sore like I mm. like I normally do. If I cut, increase my calories, now I'm all, all of a sudden lifting 10, 15% more weight, I'm going to get sore. Now, let's go back to recovery because soreness and recovery aren't necessarily- they're, they're somewhat connected, but they're not synonymous with each other. Can I handle the same volume, load, and frequency on a calorie deficit as I can in a calorie surplus? No, not, I can't. I just don't have as much energy. My body has less to pull from. Um, if I'm well fed, I can work out more, more often, and do better. So at some point, cutting your calories will reduce your body's ability to recover. You just have less uh, you know, resources available to that, that's fuel the, your body. That's the simple way to put it is that when you train and, and and we lift and you get sore from your workout, your your body needs to pull from nutrients to recover, primarily like from protein, right? So it's looking for that ability to recover, adapt, and build muscle. If you restrict its its resources and you don't give it what it, it enough of what it needs, it's not going to do it as effective. So I, if all things are considered equal, and I train intensely and volume wise consistently and the difference between calorie deficit for surplus i know is a significant difference in recovery in fact mm -hmm. one of the things that is always a clear indication that when i'm not tracking and i'm just eating intuitively that i'm probably under consuming protein and or calories is that i'm having a harder time recovering mm -hmm. yeah like that's one of the first things that go to I things that I, I start to assess is mm -hmm. that uh, and i know my personal habits is under eating protein i just think it's hard for me to get 200 grams consistently unless i'm actively pursuing it so normally this is one of the signs that reminds me of that is I keep noticing like, man, I am just not recovering very quick and I just, it shouldn't feel this way. I shouldn't feel sore for this many days. I know how hard I'm training. I didn't do anything out of the ordinary. And that is normally an indicator for myself that, oh, I'm probably not getting my body enough nutrients it needs to really yeah. to recover fast enough. Yeah, but I'm with you, Sal, with the, the self-governing aspect of that when you're in like in a deficit, like, I just don't tend to over uh exert myself quite the same as when i'm like super fed and like getting after it but mm -hmm. i mean that would be like the the main difference between that for being sore yeah uh, but yeah it, 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 as far as like recovering like yeah making sure my protein and is in there is, is, is essential for me to, to feel like i'm fully recovered yeah now there is a, a school there's a quote or a school of thought that says which is so dumb they say there's oh, yeah. no such thing as overtraining. there's under there's only under eating right yeah. no mm. that's not true mm -hmm. yes you can under eat and that can affect it's your in the recovery, bro bible but it's not absolute so you can't just eat your way into recovery uh muscle recovery and that means that you could just train as long and as hard as you want and just get, what you'll end up doing is overtraining terribly and getting fat. That's what'll happen if you if you apply that in, in an extreme way. You're just you're not gonna your body won't improve. And, and I, I look, I did this as a kid. I, I remember reading this and thinking, oh cool, let me just eat it more and more and more. And no, it doesn't work. You could totally overtrain regardless of how much food uh, you smash into your mouth. So.